morning everyone it's Eric with his and hers HHKO and of course once again when I say morning I mean it's the middle of the night and I should be in bed but I'm gonna go ahead and do this brief update because um, I'm actually kind of excited so I got a surprise mail call today and it was one of the most, I don't, it was just extraordinary. And, um, now I, just a second, I have to kind of situate this here. So, um, I mentioned not too long ago, um, it was kind of in a, in the video reply to a comment where somebody had pointed out that somehow or another, we missed the headquarters was misspelled and so my two youngest and i my youngest being 21 and 17 they are my editors um we discussed it looked at uh, looked around for it and actually found the misspelling and i was assured that it would get changed and it's going to get changed by wednesday's video we should have a new banner, a new uh, opening sequence, and uh, the new wall thingy on Facebook. Um, with that in mind, I was told it would take a little while because I had a surprise. I was like, okay. Well, the surprise showed up today. And my kids have been plotting and plotting. And I guess, well, I now have merch. I guess. <laughs> um, they're, they're setting this up for me. Um, this here is the first shirt. Um, we'll get this all figured out at some point in time. And when we do, we'll, you know, we'll let you all know, but... Actually, that is the redesigned logo, and I am absolutely thrilled with it. And that um, missing R is um, in place. So, I mean, it, that was a really, really big surprise, and I am so thrilled with that. I had to do it. I had to share and, um, I mean, yeah, the, my kids, they're great. It's, uh, I really do love them. So, um, next on the agenda, before we get to that, is, um, I took my daughter, uh, to an eye doctor's, uh, in one of the lower mini malls around here, and, um, as we were leaving the parking lot, there was, I spotted a new business. And I was like, that, wow, it's just about right up my alley. Sort of. So we stopped in, took a look. Um, and, well, it's called Radio Controlled Racing Company. I told him I would uh, give him a shout out. Um... He's got a Facebook page. You're supposed to be able to go to Radio Controlled Racing Company and um, get a hold of him on Facebook that way. Uh, not sure if he's got a store. It's We're still a little iffy on things. He's literally only been open about a month. Um, he does have primarily radio controlled stuff in his store right now, but I was informed um, by Mr. West here that um, I did spot some Tamiya paints, the rattle can, and he said he was getting a lot more Tamiya product coming in within the month, month and a half or so. I said, well, what about model kits? And he said, yes, he's supposed to be getting model kits too. Um, and oddly enough, he's actually got some of these like uh, 30 second scale radio control um, 
uh, model kits that you actually have to assemble, but it's radio controlled. It's like all the rage in Japan or something like that. Anyway, he's got he's got a bunch of those. Um, but yeah, he just opened up and I told him, especially for all the local individuals uh, that happen to be subscribed or uh, are over on Facebook, uh, give this guy a look-see, check him out, uh, see if you can find him on uh, Facebook. But right here is all his information. You can, should be able to give him a holler and get, uh, get information leading to maybe an online store or something. I don't know if, you know, you're out of state, of course. Um, but definitely give this guy a look-see. Uh, you know, it radio control racing company over on Facebook. That's what I was told. So, um, actually I think I followed him from his and hers hobby headquarters on Facebook. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, uh, well, okay. I'd like to say I did it, but it, it was my daughter. I was driving. She did all the little magic on her smartphone and I think we're following, but anyway, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, he's new on the market, been open just over a month. And if it's small business, support local, that's what I'm going to do. So I said I was going to shout him out. That's what I'm doing. Definitely a look-see. <coughs> as soon as he's got um, kits in, I said I was going to be back. I may look into uh, maybe doing a couple of reviews of radio control stuff, um, but I don't honestly mess with radio controlled, so it would be new to me as well as being new to you, uh, unless you already mess with radio control stuff. Anyway, so yeah, there's that. Um, I've already started sketching out the cage for the beast and um, I've got that paperwork over there but on a whim while I was working with the milliput again this is my first time doing it and that's why I got this fancy little doohickey here <clears throat> um, on a whim because I was thinking about something I had seen somebody else do before. I decided, it's kind of hard to get a grasp there. I'm going to work on a broken lock. You see the hasp? Uh, this will be the lock body. I was just waiting on the two pieces to dry. And then I will thin it out just a little and then of course do all the shaping and stuff and then get the uh get the hasp in place but so yeah i'm working on a little lock to go with my um cage creature's cage okay again it's my first time working with milliput now as you can see this here is the modified hood and it Obviously, I had still a whole lot of cleanup left to do. I've got this mess to clean up. And I have to finish cleaning up this mess. Yes, I know it looks kind of sloppy right now, but it is going to get cleaned up. Um, one of the things I'm going to do here when this is... Let me see if I can pick this daggum thing up. When this is in place, let's try doing it this way. When this is in place, I'm going to kind of give a bit of um, raised bit here, kind of like a nostril, I guess, maybe. And down in here, like a gum line, you know, snarled teeth or something. I'm going to try. So it's not a guarantee, but I'm going to try. I've never done something like this, and I'm hoping it works 
because I would kind of like to get the big O canines down the down each side of the grill there. It's not a guarantee, but you know, I think it'd be kind of cool. But yeah, so this is where we're at with the hood. Needs still needs a whole lot of cleanup and a whole lot more refining, but it's getting there. So yeah, I mean, it's looking good. Now this, I don't mind the eyebrows because I will or the yeah the brows because I they will get sanded down some. I think it's kind of hard. Uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to assume anything and try sanding at it now. But the next thing is I got this side uh, looking like this for the most part. There's a little bit more cleanup to do, a little bit more refining, get my uh, filler cleaned up. Uh, but otherwise, that is almost exactly what I'm looking for right there. Um, I will get the doors situated. Uh, there's a lot of time between now and Wednesday. Um, as I said, there, you know, between Friday and Sunday's video, there wasn't a whole lot of time to really do any work. I had, um, maybe two hours total of work three hours total between, well, last video and this video. So, I, I mean, it's not as much done. Uh, the biggest focus is get was getting this all here um, cleaned up. So maybe it was four hours. I don't know. Anyway, neither here nor there. Um, the bulk of it was trying to clip off, get rid of this bit here, and then cut this piece and start getting the shaping done. So otherwise, that's looking real sharp. And I mean, it's just, it's real cool. And I'm also planning out some things. I've got um, the license plate holders uh, cleaned up because they came molded with numbers. And that annoys me. But, you know, it is what it is. So that's where we're at um the shirt <laughs> I, that is just fantastic and my my kids have you know my family she's got so much faith that you know they're printing up merch or having merch done i'm like you know it, it is i'm just ecstatic it, that's what it is um working on the lock getting the cage planned out which again cage is going to fit in here just about side to side and of course chained down well you know chained as it were um the door is going to be kind of wrenched open because the beast escaped um but uh Oh yeah, and working with the milliput for the first time, creating the lock. So yeah, that, that's I think I covered everything. So yeah, okay. Just check my notes. I covered everything. All right, I appreciate everything, guys. The guys and gals. Um, it, it's been an amazing, uh, an amazing past few months. I enjoy doing this, you know, sh um, sharing what I, I do with all of you and it's the comments, the channel growth. I just, I'm stunned and I really appreciate it. I, I can't say thank you enough. You guys are, um, guys and gals are absolutely awesome. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I'm Eric with His and Hers HHQ. If you haven't yet, head on over to Facebook and follow us at His and Hers Hobby Headquarters. And as always, take a moment, like, subscribe, share the content, 
and keep spreading the word of scale model building. It's a really fun, if sometimes frustrating, yet rewarding hobby. And as always, comment below. I, it may be five minutes, it may be five days, but I do try to be interactive and reply. But again, I thank you all and have a good day.